deserved all the joys of life. As and so it was that we came back to our meeting at Neverland with 12-year-old Gavin. I'd found this easily the most disturbing moment of the past eight months. But, you know, some have, and they say, is that really appropriate? When you're talking about children, we met Gavin. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a great privilege to meet Gavin because he's, yeah. he's had a lot of suffering in his life. Yeah. When Gavin was there, he talked about the fact that he shares your bedroom. Yes. Can you understand why people would worry about that? Because they're ignorant. But is it really appropriate for a 44-year-old man to share a bedroom with a child who is not related to him at all? That's a beautiful thing. That's, that's not a worrying thing? Why should it be worrying? Who's the criminal? Who's, who's Jack the Ripper in the room? <laughs> this is a guy trying to help heal a child. I'm sleeping in a sleeping bag on the floor. I gave him the bed, because he has a brother named Star. So him and Star took the bed, and I'm on the floor in the sleeping bag. Did you ever sleep in the bed with them? No. But I have slept in the bed with many children. I sleep in the bed with all of them. When Macaulay Culkin were little, Kiri, Kieran Culkin would sleep on this side, Macaulay Culkin's on this side, his sister's in there. We're all just jamming the bed. Then we'd wake up like dawn and go in the hot air balloon. You know, we, would, we have the footage. We, I have all that footage. But uh, is that right, Michael? It's very right. It's very loving. That's what the world needs now. More love, more the world. More, the world needs more a heart. the world needs a man who's forty four sleeping no, in a you're bed making with it, children. No, no, you're making it all wrong. Well, well, tell me, help me. Because, what's wrong with sharing a love? You, you don't sleep with uh, your kids or some other kid who needs love, who didn't have a no, good childhood. No, no, I don't. I would never dream of sleeping. I would. I would. I would never dream. Because you've never been where I've been mentally. What innocent. do you think people would say if I said, well? I've invited some of my daughter's friends round or my son's friends round and they're going to sleep in the bed with me tonight. That's fine. What do you think their parents would say? If they're wacky, they would say, you can't. But if you're a close family, like your family, you know them well. And, um, and, uh, but, Michael, I wouldn't like my children to sleep in anybody else's bed. Well, I wouldn't mind if I knew the person well and I, like, if I'm very close to Barry Gibb, Paris and Prince can stay with him any time. My children sleep with other people all the time. And you're happy with that? I'm fine with it. They're honest. They're sweet people. They're not Jack the Ripper. I suppose the problem for many people is what happened in 1993 or what didn't happen. What didn't happen. Just cast your mind back. What was that like when you first heard the allegations that were being made against you? It was shocking, and I'm not allowed to talk about this by way of law. No, so, but, but how did you feel about what was being said? I'm not asking you to talk about what was said. I was shocked because um, God knows in my heart how much I adore children. <laughs> but isn't that precisely the problem, that when you actually invite children into your bed, you never know what's going to happen? But when you say bed, you're thinking sexual. They make that sexual. It's not sexual. But we're going to sleep. I tuck them in. We put. I put a little like uh, music on and a little storytelling. I read a book. It's very sweet. We put the fireplace on. We give them hot milk. You know, we have little cookies. It's very charming. Very sweet. Sure. It's what the whole world should do.